fellow 3D printers and welcome back to this video. We're taking a look at some Duramic 3D PLA filament. We're taking a look at the marble and the copper. They did send this to me to test out and review for you folks and that's what we're going to do today. Mostly I just want to give you guys a close-up look at each of these filaments and then we'll talk about some more of the details but bottom line up front these are good filaments that I have zero problems with them. I had no trouble printing with them. Any issues that I had were just printer related issues. So take a look at what I printed and see how you like it. And then we'll talk a little bit more about the deets. Now let's take a look at the unboxing of these filaments. Now normally that wouldn't really matter, but it does in this case because how the filaments get shipped can be a big factor in how well they print and especially keeping out moisture. So these come nicely packaged and they are both vacuum sealed in plastic bags, which is very nice. And this is great because it keeps the moisture out and you get to have the satisfying experience of undoing that vacuum seal. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. You know it, you know it. Let's talk about the marble filament. It looks good. It looks like your classic white marble. It has little specks of uh, kind of, I guess, black and gray. And I think it looks really good. It does have sort of a shininess that, eh, I don't know, might look unnatural sometimes, but it's, it's not too shiny. Now this is listed as a PLA plus PLA. And PLA plus usually means that it is a little bit more durable than regular PLA and maybe withstands a little bit higher temperatures. Now, I have not tested that out because to be frank, I don't care. And really, if you're looking for this type of filament, you probably don't care either. This is not really something that you're going to be using um, or this, this wouldn't be something that you would be specifically wanting to use for structural purposes. Because if you want something for structural purposes, I would usually use the 3D Fuel uh, Pro PLA. That's my go-to filament, but they don't make marble filament. This is one of my favorite prints. This is a low poly uh, rose vase, and it just looks really cool it, when you you know move it in the light. It kind of sparkles because of the angles of the uh, of the surface. That's a very very cool print. So I printed one of those in the marble and one in the copper. Nice. I also printed my custom designed camera quick attach mount, the quick mount, and that turned out pretty well. Actually, for some reason, something happened with the slicer, so the bottom logo didn't print out properly, but otherwise, it looks pretty good and it printed quite nicely. I printed one of my favorite puzzles. It's a really cool puzzle um, by uh, Wild Rose Builds. And you print three identical pieces and then they interlock to create a cube, which is really cool. It can be very, very hard to solve the puzzle the first time, but then once you do, it looks super cool because the cube just kind of explodes or uh, expands. Definitely print one of those and try it out. I also printed a nice little desk organizer thing, which I think I'll use to keep 3D printer tools. I think it turned out really nicely. The surface finishes are fantastic, especially with the new Cura monotonic uh, surface finish 
thing and it turned out very nicely. You can barely see the lines. And that's what I like about the marble filament. It really hides those layer lines. Uh, you can really only notice the layer lines if you're looking at it, you know, when the light is just right and you kind of see the, the glare come off of that. Otherwise, I think it looks really great. I think you could fool someone with this and they would think that it's marble when it is in fact just plastic. Let's talk about the copper filament, or sometimes called bronze. I think it has more of a copper kind of look. It can be very, very shiny, very bright kind of color. It's sort of hard to capture it on video. Um, it looks really good though, and the filament itself looks just like a copper wire, um, like a bare copper wire, which is pretty cool. And it came very nicely spooled, which I just like. I don't know if it really matters that much in terms of printing. But I do enjoy it. It does live up to the Silk PLA name. It's very silky, very smooth, but it does look a little plasticky um, depending on, on what you print and kind of the, the, the lighting. It has a almost orangey kind of look. Like it's a, I would say in, in person it looks much lighter than it does like as they show in the, the product photos. It still looks really good. It just looks like a very bright, shiny copper, almost like a brand new shiny penny. So if you want a, a more convincing uh, bronze or, or copper kind of look, I would consider maybe adding some kind of a, a darker uh, patina, if you will. I'm not quite sure how you'd do that, but you could probably come up with something creative, almost like just sort of like a stain on there or a paint. I don't I don't know, but something like that to give it a more realistic copper appearance. And last but not least, I printed a giant two-way screw. And I this is a little bit larger than the standard thing. I, I sized it up a bit. Um, but this thing is pretty darn huge and it turned out pretty well and mostly just because of my printer settings I think I needed to have the bed a little bit more level, but it printed very nicely looks really good And then I printed the nuts in the marble filament and those turned out well Also, you'll see there's a dark uh, ring or a line around both of the marble nuts. That's because I coated some of the filament as it was printing with a black Sharpie just to see what that would do to see if you could get like black marble or something like that. That's all I got for you folks. Thanks to Duramic 3 d for sending these to me free of charge. I really appreciate that so I could show you guys. And um, I'll have links and stuff down in the description of this video. But look, I mean, I had no problems printing with this filament. It seems like perfectly fine PLA filament. So if you want to check it out, you certainly can. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one. Keep on printing. And I will see you on the next video. Except I won't actually see you but you might see me on the next video. Bye.